Oh my god, I'm so excited. Our next guest is Nick Albrook from the band Pond. Darling, Hello. how are you? Great, you never looked better. <laughs> Thank you. Mwah. Mwah. You got your bike, I love it. Hey, pretty for <laughs> lippy. <laughs> if it ain't Baroque, fix it. You'd be a fool to miss it. If it ain't Baroque, fix it. Because it's per dumb diss it. It's finally come to fruition. Your local land is at a condition. We all What's been going on today, doll? What's been happening today? I've been at the studio, the Pond Studio. The Pond Studio? Called Dream Dust. Dream Dust? Dream Dust Studio. We call it Dream Dust because... Um, mm, it sounds uh, like a dream. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Because <laughs> Jay Watson, Gum, he, um, he's got like a, a long-running chronic fear of asbestos. We're with Nick Orbrook today. Let's sit down and have a cheeky. Into my... Oh, you... Well, do you know what? I wouldn't lie. I was hoping you'd come with a hole in your pants. <laughs> you are terrible. <laughs> well, it's gonna happen. <laughs> it's gonna... Oh, yeah. If it ain't Baroque, what is it? Fix it. Oh! I'm voluminous at the back. I'm I love my, it. Um, I'm my hairdresser. I have oh! been for a long time. Ooh, I, I can give myself a nice... Sean, a Sean Moon around there. Is that your alter ego, Sean? Sean Moon, Sean yeah. Moon. <laughs> Talk about the marathon. Yeah. So yeah, I think it's a great. I think it's a great start because I just um, I caught up with Bibby like a week ago, and he was saying you got him on board um, for a fundraising proje- project for the Indigenous, which is like uh, Indigenous in- Marathon Foundation. It's, it's so positive and. Um, it's such a great, I feel like it's such a great way of, um, you know, enc- encouraging community uh, community development and stuff by actually, um, you know, helping young leaders, uh, young Indigenous leaders with, um, you know, e- education and sport and uh, health and stuff. And they can, that, that'll, that'll allow this sort of positivity to spread into That's communities right. a lot better. I totally agree with you, Nick, on that, on that front. And like, I, I mean, I grew up around like Derby and Jal- Did Jal- you really? Yeah, and wow. J- Jalmadanga and Moanjum and stuff. And I know that like, um, you know, things like, di- like health problems like diabetes and stuff are really, uh, uh, and, and yeah, depression and um, stuff like that a really huge health running especially is a is a all is everything you need in one it's the real drug right <laughs> on a, it's really the, is. it is the real drug nothing nothing feels better than great health no it feel it feels fantastic i um yeah and the idea of Bibi running is enough to be so cinematic i think that's uh, what's making it that's what's making all the and, money and sorry <laughs> I've, ne- I've never been much of a mixer i've noticed <laughs> Cheers, love. No, I read pretty things grow in sh- Okay? Yeah. And this was my first access to Nick Albrook. That's great. Yeah? Um, I got, you know, there's so many interviews that ask the sort of, is it something in the water? Why are there so many great bands coming out of Perth? Yeah. And like, yeah, I, I guess I thought, like, why this place and our environment and our surroundings, like, what, what, how, how it affected us and how it allowed us to to grow in an original kind of way. All the times at the Heidi and stuff like that. I remember I was under the pool table <laughs> drinking <laughs> a goon you. bag. Yeah. Th- there was so much, like, really original, um, quite, quite undercooked stuff, but um, that had a platform. Oh my god, a guy just started riding his bicycle down the stairs. He can't see him now, but um, <laughs> he's gone. Scenes yeah. that I often got asked about, the psychedelic scene or whatever, yeah. it, you, can only, you can only see it once it's done. And as soon as there's, as soon as uh, like a, a historian or a writer or something can put a label on a time and sort of bunch everything into a little into into it's a little like sculpture in a way media isn't it yeah <laughs> yeah and, and once they am i giving them too much credit <laughs> <laughs> probably oh, woo, here you go 
Here comes the industry. Oh, hello, friend. You know what I mean? Like, what are you talking about? Sound British then, love? I'm sorry. We're not <laughs> Manchester, all right? However, I am with Nicole Brook. What, what did I say before this? <laughs> like that. One it's the same language, right? <laughs> Mics or no mic? Is that so, Mike? It's so good to have you on set. Pleasure. <laughs> Nick's essay moved me so much that no one had intellectualised um, what it's like growing up in actually the second isolated city in the world. H Hawaii is actually six hours from the coast of Los Angeles, and we are, but you know, isolation's isolation. So I'm gonna go back to cleansing your energy. <laughs> Hold the mic, darling. <laughs> We've got the book. We've got the book. Okay. <laughs> Nick, I brought in a be beautiful little bit of um, chanting energy for you. It was. Um, hang on. Oh, here we go. Uh, so it's, it's gorgeous. Say, do you want to cleanse your auric field? Okay, my friend. Okay. I know. I understand. Auric. Okay. It was um, a moment of your, your own, mm, right. but I'm going to cleanse you now. Okay, and I read this. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna, will you start cutting my hair, Nick? <laughs> With pleasure. Will you? Oh, of course. <laughs> That's my boy. <laughs> so All I need is trust. <laughs> Lady of the moon, of the restless sea and verdant earth, Lord of the sun, and of the world wild. wild creatives accept this offering i place here in your harbor grant me the wisdom to see your presence in all nature oh great ones grant me the wisdom to see your presence in all nature Oh, great ones. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't lie, there's two things that have come up in this conversation. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. Two of those things is pretty things grow from <laughs> Along with the beautiful words of that, and I actually thought you were describing me. That's so I nice. thought you titled my autobiography, Pretty Things Grow in <laughs> <laughs> I mean, read a book, kids. Look out. <laughs> Hold this, Nicholas. Mm, I'm gonna do some rouge on you. I'm gonna do some rouge, my friend. Is it perp? I'm, I'm taking this off. I don't want you to ride your bike and get beaten up again. <laughs> it's not it's nice. It's tough out there. <laughs> <It's tough. laughs> okay, where's um? Where's my jacket with the paint? You know, you know exactly what I'm talking about, love. Yeah. In there. Yeah. Stop it. What does it say there? Bibi. Bibi. <laughs> We've got some gorgeous acrylic red in. We brought it especially in from Jackson's. <laughs> oh, for you. Yes. And I'd love you to live in large. <laughs> live in. So but it's good. good. All right, I'll just keep it, uh, keep it in line with bibs. I love your work. I love yours. Mm. Chicken. It's <laughs> true. I know. I do know. As a resident wreckhead, <laughs> um, <laughs> it's not easy to seduce. <laughs> no, do your best. Mate. Last time I saw J Baroque and, and Ginoli, Gin couldn't keep up at all. It was foul to watch. When they say pretty things grow in shit, you need to read a book, Queen, because I can tell you, the soil is that filthy. You need to get involved. Nick, hey. Aww. Oh, you got a nice little re cute red schnoz. <laughs> it's all right, I gave you lips before. <laughs> Baby, do you know what that's worth? Ooh, heaven is a place on earth. Am I in the valley? Oh, there's the brook. <laughs> oh, cast your line, queen. 
What fish is that? Trout. No, thank you, please. Ta-da. Oh, those pale blue eyes really did number on me. Okay, so I'm gonna go.